I think I'm finally ready to discuss the elephant in the room, accessibility and Linux. I am a low vision content creator with ADOA, autosomal dominant optic atrophy, and I'm legally blind, but I do have some usable vision and that's why I'm considered a low vision user. I can optimize and use the tools available with the operating system or with specific applications and be able to perform my work efficiently. But with that being said, every operating system is different. There are different accessibility settings when it comes to Windows, when it comes to Mac, and of course with Linux. And with Linux, it gets a little bit more nuanced because you have different distros and desktop environments. I'm going to be focusing on my current setup and how I use my device in order to optimize it for my low vision. I'm also going to point out some areas that could use some improvements and some features that are just plain missing. So for this video, I'm going to be focusing on my personal setup and I'm currently using Fedora 41. I use the same settings more or less for Fedora 42 as well recently, so I think both could apply. Now, when it comes to installing a distro at the start, the experience is not very accessible. Um, depending on the screen that you have, the resolution, the monitor, there's so many factors that go into it. But the overall experience is that it is easy enough to get through even for somebody with low vision. I pretty much just selected the blue continue button in the bottom right hand corner and got through the installation without much issue. Once the distro was installed, I use the GNOME desktop environment. I want to preface this that I prefer the GNOME desktop environment, not because it's better or I just love it so much more than KDE, but for me personally, I find that it's a bit more accessible because it is an icon-based desktop environment. It is very Mac-esque, if you want to say, as regards to having a dock option and the way the icons are displayed. Now, for a lot of people in the low vision community, I am very focused on seeing icons more than text because I can't read the text. It's usually too small under the icons. So I rely heavily on visual cues from icons in order to know which application I need to open. Now out of the box, GNOME is a bit easier for me to access the settings, especially to get to the accessibility settings I need in order to set up the computer fully. Once you go into the settings menu, you'll notice on the left hand side that you have options for accessibility. Within accessibility, of course, you can choose your corresponding needs. I, of course, primarily choose seeing, so I select the visual accessibility settings. Now from this menu, once you start activating any of these features, you'll notice in the top right hand corner that the accessibility menu will be activated and this will become clutch. Honestly, I really love that it automatically activates. I can easily access the settings or the tools that I need straight away when I need them. Now with that being said, there are a lot of tools, but some of them may not work as you are expecting. By default, I usually hit high contrast as somebody who is visually impaired, but also colorblind and lacking nuances to decipher certain menu items and being able to really see where things are located, high contrast does help me personally. I also activate large text, so that way reading any of the menu options becomes a lot more easy. And also if you're using the magnifying option, this will also make it a larger text for you to read. Now you'll see additional tools here below, for example, Zoom. Zoom is a very helpful tool. I use it a lot for magnifying text that I need to see in specific menus, especially when going through setup processes for certain applications that are not optimized for low vision or blind users. Now there is some big caveats with the Zoom. I think activating Zoom straight away, you'll notice some glitches and some bugs. You may need to mess and configure the settings for Zoom specifically, and you can find this in the main accessibility menu at the bottom. From that menu, you can adjust the magnification, you can adjust where it's magnified, you can even add crosshairs to really know where your mouse is at, and this helps me a lot. Um, I'm able to really configure it the best to my needs, there are still some glitches with the magnifying tool. I'm not going to say it's perfect. Could it be better? Yes. Is it usable? Yes. And that's what really matters for me. Some of the glitches you may notice if you're using a second monitor, 
a larger monitor in my case, there is some blinking or some jumping around on the edge of the display when you're trying to go back to the accessibility menu, for example, and turn off the magnifier or the zoom feature. But otherwise, I find the zoom tool quite useful and I do use it often. One tool I do not find myself going for or using and am quite frankly disappointed with is the screen reader. I think this prevents a lot of fully blind people from switching from a standard Windows or Mac operating system to Linux. If there's not a workable, customizable, and usable screen reader, this is impossible for anyone to use. For example, if I show you the demo of what it sounds like here, this is a screen reader test. You can see the pitch, the tone, the voices change. It's really difficult to use and navigate as a completely blind user. And honestly, it's not very good. <laughs> Going into certain menus, it's not even screen reading the elements it needs to. It doesn't work on browsers, for example, or certain applications. And frankly, it's a big disappointment from my perspective because you cannot customize it. You cannot reduce the rate of speech. I find that it's very fast and just unintelligible most of the time for myself. The voice is very high pitched and grating on the ears. And honestly, I hate it. I don't use it. And even if I can't see, I would honestly rather not see than listen to the screen reader. I think this is something that is a huge miss um, for anyone working in accessibility, especially in Linux. I think it's something that can be improved and should be improved in order to help blind users switch to Linux. Another feature that would be nice to have, but I can get by without it, is color filters. I am somebody who is also colorblind. I have tritinopia, which means I struggle with blue and yellow, and frankly, I don't really see yellow. But it is nice to have certain color filters in certain situations as a content creator. Yes, having true color is most important, but honestly, it's just easier on the eyes when those filters are applied. Is it the end of the world? No, I can still get by with my magnifier and all the other tools I've applied, but it would be nice to have. Now, as far as some other things that I do modify with in Linux and Fedora GNOME to be specific, is some settings such as making my mouse cursor larger, but I also add some extensions. If you're not comfortable or have never added extensions, it's actually quite easy. You can add the extension manager and add a couple useful extensions that I find benefit low vision users. And one of those extensions is the dash to dock. This enables you to add a dock to your desktop avoiding you from having to go into menus and really trying to decipher which apps you need to open because you can't really see that well. And I find that this specific extension helps a lot, but you can also modify the visual settings with the extension itself. You can make the dock larger, you can make the icons for the apps larger, and I think this really makes it nice and user-friendly for low vision users. You can also add additional extensions. I have one where I can activate or deactivate, of course, by having my desktop icons. Now, when I'm creating content, I have to move between lots of folders. The more menus and the more folders you need to access as somebody with low vision, the more complicated and the more likely you are to not see things or get lost. And having everything on my desktop in certain situations really saves me a lot of time. I can drag and drop things. I don't really have to know exactly what I'm reading within the documents. I can see the folder names. So it does help a lot. And you can also modify the size of the icons, which is a huge game changer. You can make them giant and large, or you can make them super tiny if you wish. I think any of these settings could help people who maybe even aren't low vision, but may have people who are older in their family who want to use Linux, but just be able to see a little bit better. Globally, I am not mad at accessibility with Linux, but I do think there is a lot of room for improvement, especially for the completely blind community. Um, as somebody with low vision, I'm used to adapting and finding ways to work around, but if I was an individual who can't see, and as somebody who has a progressive vision disease, I see in the future, if things do not improve, that maybe Linux will not be as easy for me, or maybe not even possible at all, depending on how my vision evolves. 
So I think as more people migrate to Linux and Linux becomes more and more mainstream, we need to also keep in mind those who may need special accessibility adaptations in order to use the distros successfully. If you have any tips, especially for those of you who are blind and low vision out there, please leave them down below. I'm always opening to hearing new suggestions, new setups, and any way to make life a little bit easier. I want to thank my channel supporters for making this video possible and I want to thank all of you for watching this video. Thank you so much and see you soon.